274 others was caught in a violent storm, only to be wrecked two weeks later on the Maltese coast. All aboard swam safely to land, which is now known as St. Paul's Island. The survivors were met by the locals who lit them afire. It is quoted in the Bible that as the fire was lit, Paul was bitten by a poisonous snake, but he suffered no other effects. The islanders took this as a sign that he was a very special man. This scene is shown in many religious works of art on the islands. According to tradition, the apostle then took refuge in a cave, now known as St. Paul's Grotto in Rabat. During his winter stay, he was invited to the house of Publius. He was a Roman chief man on the island. It was here Paul cured his father of a serious fever. Publius is then said to have converted to Christianity and was made the first bishop of Malta. The cathedral of Mandina is said to stand on the site of Publius's house. Archaeological evidence seems to support this tradition as Malta was one of the first Roman colonies to convert. Hey guys, so we are on the sea adventure today. And uh, it's going to explore a couple of islands and go to the Crystal Lagoon and the Blue Lagoon. And then uh, we'll also go to Gozo, the island of Gozo, which is still part of uh, Malta, and explore around there for three hours. So I hope to get a really good video for you guys today and show you guys a little bit more of Malta than where I've been so far. And the scenery so far has been beautiful, as you've seen in the start of this. But it's pretty amazing. And we just passed St. Paul's Island, uh, which supposedly in the Bible, that was where he was shipwrecked and took refuge in Malta on his way uh, back to Rome to be tried for uh, preaching Christianity, basically. So, a lot of history here on Malta, more to come from Malta soon. Reflected light coming to you from Camino, the island of Camino, part of Malta, and it is beautiful. 
Wow, so this is a part of the stop. So I left uh, the main island of Malta on uh, Sea Adventure, uh, cost about 20 euro, which isn't bad. I'm here at the Blue Lagoon for one hour, contemplating on whether or not to go swimming before we leave because then I'll be exploring go uh, Gozo in, in wet swim trunks. So I may wait until the last stop, which is the Crystal Lagoon, on the way back, where we can swim for another hour. But I'm here for an hour, then leave here and go to Gozo, which is over my shoulder right there, and explore Gozo for three hours. So it should be exciting. Um, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so I'll get back to you so guys So I just soon. thought I would mention while I'm walking through this, amazing Gozo. I mean, I'm sorry, not Gozo, but Camino. Camino. And this red clay, which reminds me of Georgia in the States. But, uh, so Malta is made up of a series of three big islands, basically. Uh, so you have uh, Malta, uh, you have the main island of Malta, where Valletta is, uh, St. Julian, St. Paul's Bay, places that I've stayed so far. And then you have two other islands. One is Camino. Uh, Camino basically has like four residents and one hotel, the Hotel Camino, which is kind of pricey. Uh, but the residents are one uh, priest, <laughs> one police officer and one sort of like custodian and uh, so that's pretty cool <laughs> it's such a small population and uh, so I'm just out exploring right now and you'll have to forgive my <laughs> because I I got some sort of funk again like I had when I was in Ireland and it uh, starts with my sinuses and then it gets into my lungs and I gotta try and get it out so but I'm fighting through it I don't feel so bad uh, as I did last time so we'll see but I'm just out sort of walking around exploring for like 30 minutes and I don't know if I'm gonna follow this all the way down there or not looks like it might be like a little private beach maybe they offer some sort of scuba diving or something like that I'm not sure but I think I'm actually gonna head back over to where the boat is docked and uh and grab something to eat there's a few places there like uh, food trucks or whatever that you can grab something to eat at and uh, and so I might grab something to eat there since I haven't really ate today I just had a protein bar this morning <laughs> but anyway uh, more to come from beautiful Malta Camino now and then Gozo over there so that island right there is Gozo so it's really really just really close and uh, Gozo should be uh, pretty awesome I think for five euro I can get sort of like a van that will take me to a few different spots sort of like a hop on hop off type of thing so I'll have to check that out once I once we get into port over there but I had heard someone mention something about it so anyway I will get back to you guys soon man what a beautiful day and the water is just amazing <laughs> beautiful Malta is the third island on Malta. The rotunda up there is beautiful. Get back to you soon.
So I'm wandering around an old city in Gozo, which at one point was an old Arabic city when the Arabs held control. I can't remember the name of it, but I will give it to you. <laughs> I tried to put it at the bottom of the video, but whew, a steep climb and my chest stuff, whatever's going on. It's been killing me walking around here, but man, it's beautiful. Like all these old walls, it really has a sort of Arabic feel to it, like Egypt or or Jordan or something. Like I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> Just wandering around. But there's one of the cathedrals. So I'm going to keep wandering around here and see what I can find, but it's literally an old city that had like pff, a ton of steps at one point to walk up, since been replaced with a gradual stair staircase, and it also dates back all the way, I believe, to like 3200 BC when it was first founded, so we'll see what we can find. I'll talk to you guys soon. This place is just truly amazing. I wish I had more time to stay here and explore. Uh, I took a bus from uh, the port where we docked uh, on the uh, on the excursion ferry I have, and then uh, for five euro, this bus takes you to like four different destinations. This being one of them. So five euro is a great deal. Or, but you just. You just don't have enough time to explore here. We've got about an hour and 45 minutes and that's it. But absolutely amazing. You get lost in here. There's like streets and tunnels and everything everywhere. I mean, it's just amazing. So, and it's hot out today. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be excited to get to the Crystal uh, Lagoon after this. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Whew, man, it's an amazing world. Malta is beautiful. So beautiful. Alright. It's known as St. John's Quarter. This section city was named after St. John the Baptist, patron of the Knights of Malta, and known as Il Quartier San Juan, which I probably slaughtered that, but <laughs> up to 1637, people were obligated to sleep within the city walls during the summer months. The Mediterranean was infested with pirates that many times landed on the island to abduct people to sell them as slaves. When the law was lifted, people abandoned their tiny abodes in this city to more spacious houses in the suburb of Ir Rabat. Ir Rabat. Uh, houses collapsed one after another and were never rebuilt. Some of them date back to medieval times. Wow.
visiting uh, El Rabat, El Rabat, and now I'm headed back to the boat. I gotta be back there at 1515 or it leaves without me. So, <laughs> trying to cross these streets. But man, what a beautiful place. I didn't go into the church, but I did get the drone up, so hopefully you'll see some nice shots in this video. But uh, I'll get back to you soon.
just a slight easy taste of the shine That sickly egg sticky web a trap for fly Crawl away from the cup Just pulled into the Crystal Lagoon and uh, and just took a look at it, which uh, I have some video of it, which you guys will see before this, or have seen before this, once I edit it. And it got really cool. It's about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so I got why I got my jacket on, my hat now, and all that stuff. But we're uh, we're getting ready to pull back into uh, St. Paul's Bay. It was still a wonderful day. I can't complain. Uh, I got to see beautiful Gozo and a few things on Gozo, which you guys saw in the video. And so really, I, I, I can't complain. I really wanted to get into the water, but it didn't happen, but that's okay. So I thought we were going to spend an hour at Crystal Bay, but we didn't. So that's my fault. But this is the beautiful view coming back in to St. Paul's Bay and over there is a shipwreck that I was at yesterday and a couple days before that and so this is where we're going to end up docking is over here and over there is uh, the restaurant that I ate the rabbit at the other night and saw a beautiful sunset and that is St. Paul's Island which is supposedly where St. Paul uh, the Apostle uh, shipwrecked on so you guys have an idea from a different perspective rather than from land but from sea of where I've been along there but I basically walked all along this boardwalk all the way down to where that boat is and then around the other side and my hotel is where I'm staying is about a 10 or 15 minute walk that way more towards the center of town. Hopefully you guys got that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to grab some dinner after this, and then I'm going to go back to the room, and I'm going to edit this video and get it up to you. So, beautiful day from Malta, St. Paul's Bay, Camino Island, uh, the Blue Lagoon, which I wish I would have went swimming at now, uh, and Gozo, three hours exploring Gozo. It was a beautiful time. Uh, took the trip. It was 20 euro to get over there. Five euro for the for the bus to take me around on Gozo. So 25 euro, uh, give or take. And then I got a lunch here that cost me uh, I don't know five or seven euros. So really the day wasn't that bad. Uh, it was a beautiful day nevertheless. And as always, from this beautiful excursion that I took. Uh, wow, unbelievable. <laughs> Peace. Love and let's experience this beautiful world together from Malta. Beautiful. See you guys tomorrow for the next adventure.